Top 10 Ways Elon Musk Has Destroyed Twitter Hate Musk's takeover has drawn widespread scrutiny as he signals plans to overhaul how Twitter has moderated the spread of information on the platform. Musk has said he would create a new council to govern decisions and that no changes would occur just yet. In the past, the platform was notorious for offensive hate speech and conspiracy theories and Twitter had done a lot of content moderation. Musk wouldn't turn Twitter into quote a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. Policy Changes Elon plans to do with changes to his policies. Some rules he wants to review with his team have to do with Twitter's general misinformation policy. This policy targets specifically posts that include falsities surrounding things like election outcomes and medical policies. Apparently, he wants these policies to be even more specific which could be a good or bad thing. For this issue, we don't actually know if he wants to get specific with it or remove it entirely. Twitter trust and safety is not allowed to penalize accounts who break these rules except for some specific cases that are handled manually. Stocks On the financial side of things, the value of Twitter took a huge stock plunge after Musk made his initial offer for Musk himself. But then again people who bought shares for a lower price are set to make a lot from the whole thing. One large shareholder Florida hedge fund Pintwatcher Capital is expected to make over $200 million. Rich people getting richer but according to reports, pension funds that invest for teachers, police officers and state workers in New York, California, Florida and Wisconsin could also make a significant return. Advertising The other thing Musk's takeover has affected has been advertisers. Advertising is probably one of the biggest ways Twitter makes its money. Musk's free speech policies can go very badly. It could turn Twitter back into the cesspool it once was or it could just moderately ease up on restrictions, turning it into a bit more of an open platform. Because of the uncertainty companies like GM for example, one of the major advertisers has suspended any of its spending on the platform until they see where the company goes. Bringing on his team. As most people know along with taking the top role at Twitter, Musk is also chief executive of electric car maker Tesla and rocket company SpaceX. He is now the sole director of Twitter, but he has indicated that this position at the social media company may only be temporary. Musk has pulled some of the senior staff from his other companies with over 50 Tesla autopilot engineers coming over Twitter. They'll possibly be using their master of brains to figure out how to effectively run such a politically heavy company instead of building cars and rockets. Employees Almost immediately after Musk closed his deal top executives at Twitter were fired, this included CEO Parag Agrawal, CFO Ned Siegel and the head of legal policy trust and safety. These people have held high positions in one of the biggest social media companies that exist and they will likely be okay in the long run, but it's Twitter's other 7,500 employees that have people worried. Musk is set to make big cuts to the company with the Washington Post expecting around 25% of the company's staff to go off. Advice Elon has also been meeting regularly with a few old friends and tech executives, investors and experts for advice on how to proceed with the company. There is another former Twitter employee who may be coming back in a leadership capacity Kayvon Bakepour, who was the former head of Twitter product. Nothing here is finalized in terms of who may be actually joining the company and most of the names here are simply consulting with Musk himself. Verification. If you haven't heard this news recently, there have been reports that Twitter could start charging people $20 per month to keep the little blue ticks that indicate verified accounts. The Verge has reported that Elon has even threatened to have people's jobs eliminated if they can't achieve this within seven days. Now this has been a pretty controversial topic as well for many Twitter users. Some users have said that they would never pay for something that they used to get for free. But at the same time others have noted that Twitter was leaving money on the table if it did not charge for something that so many people wanted. 
Fine. If you don't remember Vine it was acquired by Twitter all the way back in 2012 was shut down in 2016 and was essentially the precursor to TikTok which itself has now been copied with Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts which have proved without a doubt that short form videos like that are a popular social media. The point is that Elon Musk has been heavily considering bringing Vine back and apparently a lot of Twitter's employees are jumping on the opportunity to work on it, even if it's only in an effort to keep their jobs. If it is brought back it would first need to have some fundamental changes to its outdated code not to mention the music rights, partnerships and creator payment features. His plan may not even work. Elon Musk has said that the whole reason he bought the company is because it is important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence. Paul Knox a professor at the Center for Free Expression at Toronto Metropolitan University told CBC News, some voices have more economic power and more technical capacity to elevate themselves over others.